one of y'all. Thank God. <clears throat> uh, I don't say you know what time it is, but I, you know, <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. I don't know what time it is. 7.32. <laughs> uh, Thursday, August the 8th. All right. Hope y'all doing all right. Taking y'all time. Keep on making it day by day, y'all. Day by day. I know it get hard sometimes. But it's going to be all right one day. <laughs> it's going to be super all right one day. Right up. <laughs> Till then, end up, keep on pressing your way. Amen. Uh, all glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, glory to who is true. Amen. Bless the Lord. All right. Let's see where y'all want to go. Turn on me Psalms 15. Psalms 15, verse 1. Brother David said, <clears throat> Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person, but honors those, but honors those, but honors those who fear the Lord, and does not change their mind. <clears throat> oh, no. Who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts. I like that. And does not change their mind. Who lends money to the poor without interest. Who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. I love that. I got to read it again. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred? Who, Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless. Who, who, who does what is righteous. Who speaks the truth from their heart. Whose tongue utters no slander. Who does no wrong to a neighbor. And casts no slur on others. Who despises a vile person. But honors those who fear the Lord. Who keeps an oath even when it hurts. Who keeps an oath even when it hurts. And does not change their mind. Who lends money to the poor without interest. Who does not accept the bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Amen. I like that. All right. I like that. <clears throat> Let me pick up uh, where I left off. It was somewhere I was going to. I don't know where. Now bear with me. Oh, yeah. That's what's that's for another day. <laughs> now bear with me. I'm picking up where I left off. I'm going to... Uh, I'm still in Matthew. It don't get no better than the Lord Jesus teaching them. So, like, why? My bad. Uh, Matthew chapter 9. If I can get there. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. It's early in the morning. I got to get up myself a little bit for real. But it's all good, right? You know how it is. I'm just like the rest of y'all. Sometimes I wake up, I don't feel like doing that anymore. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> but bless the Lord, though. Bless the Lord, though. Gotta keep pressing up. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't feel like working out doing that, like that ain't no reason. Gotta keep going. Uh, Matthew chapter 9, uh, verse 1. Say, the title says, Jesus forgives and heals a paralyzed man. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 9, verse 1. Say, Jesus stepped into the into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own town. Some men brought him, some men brought to him a paralyzed man lying on the mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man, Take heart, son. Your sins are forgiven. At this, some of the teachers of the law said to themselves, This fellow is blaspheming. <clears throat> this fellow is blaspheming. Knowing their thoughts. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Knowing that Jesus know our thoughts. <laughs> Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? Which is easy to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk. But I want you to know, it's easy to say your sins are forgiven. <laughs> it's, it's impossible to tell the paralyzed. It's an, you, you go to the hospital. You go to, you go to one of these hospitals and find somebody laying on the, on the bed <laughs> who paralyzed and tell them to get up to walk. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> They're going to think you're being funny. <laughs> that's, what, uh, that's what he's saying to him. He said, what's easy to say? Your sins are forgiven? It's easy to say your sins are forgiven. <laughs> Word, you, you can say that easily to anybody. Word, your sins are forgiven. Or get up and walk. <clears throat> Which is easy to say. Your sins are forgiven. 
or to say, get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, get up, take your mat, and go home. <laughs> then the man got up and went home. <laughs> when the crowd saw this, they, when, the crowd, when the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they praised God, who had given such authority to man. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Why? All right, Lewis, I got to keep going. <clears throat> uh, the calling of Matthew. Right up. Uh, what the title said. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him. And Matthew got up and followed him. <laughs> then Jesus was having dinner at Matt. Uh, while Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Amen. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Amen. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. What the rest of us say over in Luke. <clears throat> I can find it real quick. <clears throat> Luke chapter 5 verse 31 Jesus answered him and Matthew Matthew Mark Luke and John is for uh is for they they for uh for Jesus disciples who telling the stories and the way they seen it the four different point of views <clears throat> for Matthew Mark Luke and John uh they they all Jesus disciples and they telling their, their stories from the points of views when they was with the Lord and Jesus answered them and said, Matthew chapter 5, verse 31. Jesus answered them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. You see? Jesus said, Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. He quoted Hosea chapter 6. Get there. Y'all bear with me. It's still early in the morning. Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. Say, for I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and the knowledgement of God rather than burn offerings. Amen. That's all the Lord wants. Acknowledgement of God rather than burn offerings. The, the sacrificial thing. People people try to give to the Lord. They, they give to the Lord physically, but they don't never give him their heart. That's what he wants. Acknowledgement of God. To be true for serve the Lord in spirit and truth. <clears throat> Uh, he said it's not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick <laughs> these people these people who Jesus with they know they got problems <laughs> the task collectors doesn't send us <laughs> word <laughs> Jesus said I have I, for I have not come to call the righteous the righteous people is people who think they don't need the Lord <laughs> these people righteous on their own standards they, they do things they these people serve God on their own strength it's people who it's, it's many people who go to church who righteous on their own strength <laughs> word like they righteous on their own stance <laughs> they, they, they they don't really put their faith and trust in Lord Jesus they 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 can go to church faithfully <laughs> like word Bible study read or every, everything whatever they righteous on their own standards <laughs> you see what I'm saying they, they're not serving the Lord they don't see themselves as sinners. You want to see a person who 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 know. You want to see a person, uh, the Lord the Lord looking for. They gon they gon they they know they sinners. Where me myself I'm a sinner. I know who I am. I'm not perfect. And where anything good about me is, is through the Lord. Like where me myself I know who I am. Where <laughs> I come straight off the street. <laughs> where that I can't talk like I want to talk. But uh, where. The Lord ain't looking for people who don't think they need the Lord, who think to say it's not the healthy who need a doctor. It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. <laughs> Where the healthy people, these people think they're healthy. They, 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 it's people who don't think they need God. It, it, it's people who don't think they have a problem. <laughs> but the sick, the sick people, everybody in the hospital, at the hospital, because they clearly know they're sick, they're going to the hospital for a reason. It's not the healthy who need a doctor. Who is the doctor? This doctor is Jesus, the greatest doctor of all. <laughs> that's why they that's why they wouldn't. <laughs> but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Jesus question. Jesus question about fasting. What the title say? <clears throat> um, then John's disciples came and asked him. Then John's disciples came and asked him, 
How is it that we and the Pharisees fast often, but you, but your disciples do not fast? <laughs> well, anybody caught up in fasting and stuff like that or whatever. Right? Jesus answered uh, that they was where they was, these people fasting just became a regular custom to these people. It's people who fast all the time, like they do it in our religion. Jewish people, uh, Christian people, Muslim people, they all they all brothers. They all, we all brothers and, and sisters. It just that's another story for another day. But uh, <laughs> where <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, people funny, man, people funny. We are people funny. Each we all going our own way. Each of us, <laughs> what Isaiah 53 said. <laughs> Isaiah 53 nailed it better than I can. <clears throat> Isaiah 53, where everyone, even even in today, man, you got it's, it's, you can you can go drive all around the neighborhood and you will see a hundred different churches. I promise you. You can drive up the street and see five churches on the same street, this and that. You got to tell me, man, people all didn't like where? Like, must be going against each other like they in competition or something. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, must tripping. They all going to eat. That's, that's, I'm just talking about Christians or my own group of people. Like, where? Uh, the same thing everywhere else, too. Like, where? Like, the, 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 the Jewish people, like, they are people, too. The Muslim people, they are people, too. Like, where? They, they, everyone got their own. How they feel, whatever this and that or whatever. <laughs> like, where are everybody? People be. I don't want to get carried away. Uh, but Isaiah 53 say, Isaiah 53, verse 6. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. <laughs> word. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. All right. Why did I go there? Oh, yeah, fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where people get caught up in this stuff or whatever. We all do. It's for people for people who get caught up in this stuff, you see people or whatever. I'm just keep reading. Jesus question about fast. <clears throat> then John's then John's disciples came and asked him, How was it that we and the Pharisees fast often? But you and your but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered, How can the guest of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will for the patch will pull away, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making making the tear worse. Neither do people pour new wine into old wine skins. If they do, the skins will burst, the wine will run out, and the wine skins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wine skins, and both are preserved. <clears throat> Jesus raises a dead girl and heals a sick woman with a title sin. While he was saying this, uh, while, while he was saying this, a synagogue leader came and knelt before him and said, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. While he was, while he was saying this, a synagogue leader Came and knelt before him. And when you had, when you had the presence, when you know, when you in the presence of the Lord, you know who He is. That's all you can do. And knelt before him and said, "My daughter has just died." <clears throat> this man came to Jesus. This man came to Jesus after his daughter died. <laughs> well, during during the death of his daughter. Listen, my daughter has just died, but come and put your hand on her, and she will live. <laughs> my God, Jesus got up and went with him. And so, did his, and so did his disciples. Just then, a woman who had been subjected to bleeding for twelve years, he on the way, he on the way with this man, going with him. And just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, "If I can only touch his cloak, I will be healed." <laughs> Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. When Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house <clears throat> and saw the noisy crowd and people playing pipes, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but asleep. But, but asleep. They laughed at him. After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand, and she got up. News of this spread throughout through all that region. <laughs> all right. I like that. Even in a dead situation, I like that. Lord Jesus still moving in a dead situation. I like that. Why? Why? You still, you still do the same today too. Still do put your faith and trust in him, <clears throat> even when everything seems count as a loss. 
I never, I never seen no one like where I know some things don't always play out the way they play out should or whatever. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand all that. But I do know. Uh, <clears throat> even, even brother David. Uh, even brother D brother David know what I'm talking about because he he killed that man and had a baby by him. And uh, Nathan came and rebuked Dave and told him that the child gonna die. And David, he fast for the babe. He, he ain't eat nothing. He, he, I think he was praying and everything, hoping that God would have mercy on him. He said, maybe the Lord will have mercy on him. But nevertheless, God chose to take the baby away from him. And after the baby was gone, David got up and started eating again. He said, he told his people, uh, he said, I was praying and fasting and stuff, uh, so maybe the Lord would have mercy on him. Uh, but now that the child gone, he said, I'll see him again up in heaven or something like that. He said, I'll see him again. Uh, but he got up and kept moving. You see what I'm saying? Some, sometimes situations don't play out. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but nevertheless, that was a situation. Like David, he was, he was a, little, a little bit, a little bit of sin involved in that situation. Like how that was going on. But nevertheless, uh, God still do, and still can work in a dead situation. Put your faith and trust in. I like, I like, like where somebody might, might catch him, whatever. But dude's daughter died, and he came to Jesus anyway. <laughs> he said, my daughter just died, but come and put your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus got up and went with him, and so did his disciples. Right, let me keep reading. Jesus heals the blind and the mute, <clears throat> what the title said. Uh, as Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out. As Jesus went on, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. <laughs> when, he, when he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. <laughs> All right, then. Jesus, Jesus warned them sternly. See that no one knows about this, but they but they went out and spread but they went out and spread the news about them all over that region. <laughs> Jesus told them, "Don't go tell nobody what I just did. How can you not go tell people? <laughs> you know that that's one command. You know, <laughs> and then we break. We we we're always going against the Lord, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's damn near oh, forgive me Lord but it's impossible <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he know that too <laughs> how, how can we not go tell nobody <laughs> I bet that, you know the things I'm, I'm, I, I think a little bit different from a lot of people but it's, it's the things people tell people don't do that they want to do if somebody tell you don't think about it uh, don't think about something you start thinking about it <laughs> right, you gotta do it <laughs> right. it's, it's a urge you gotta do the jump <laughs> right. anyway he warned them sternly. <laughs> See that no one knows about this. <laughs> but they went out and spread news about him all over that region. While they, while they were going out, a man who was demon possessed and could not talk was brought to Jesus. And when the demon and when the demon was driven out, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowd was amazed and said, "Nothing like this is nothing like this has ever been been seen in Israel." But the Pharisees said, "It is by the prince of demons that he drives out." That it is by the prince of demons that he drives out demons. <laughs> and, you know the people, the Pharisees people. You know where the people wild. <laughs> they they like uh, only, the only way Jesus is doing this is by uh, <laughs> is by the prince of demons or whatever. <laughs> Last time, <laughs> why are these people wild? But anyway, the workers are few. What the title say? Jesus went. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out, to, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Anybody want to work and stuff out there for the Lord? Ask the Lord for the harvest. Uh, it's like word. Don't, it's not. It's not a whole lot of people who really want to serve the Lord. Who really? It's not work. But anyway, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord. Of the, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into His harvest field. I love what Isaiah said. I love what Isaiah said. 
Isaiah chapter 6, I believe. Let me get that. Bear with me. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah's commission, what the title say. <laughs> Let's say Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 say in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord high and exalted <laughs> seated on the throne and the train of his robe filled the temple above him was seraphim was seraphim each with six wings these like the angel like these like the bird like angel type creatures these like these are holy these are like some holy type birds there's some birds and stuff out there like they not regular birds these some angelic type creatures it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of, when, when God spoke and said and said let the animals, let the birds of the sky produce according to some birds or something like that in Genesis chapter one, stuff happened. When, man, I lose my mind every time I go to Genesis one because I can't just read it. I cause I lose my mind every time. It's it's impossible. You I mean you you can get a book, you can get the book and read the, these verses and <laughs> any regular person can read what this say. It say in Genesis chapter one, verse twenty. And God said, let the water team with living creatures. Let the birds fly above the earth. Let the birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures. <laughs> Underline. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which with which with which the water teams and that moves about in it according to their kinds. And every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water and the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kind, the livestock according to their kind, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kind. And God saw that it was good. <laughs> and those few sentences I just now read, so much stuff happened that I that it did take a, a whole lifetime. It take everyone's lifetime. You, where you see dogs, cats, animals, reptiles, uh, dinosaurs, uh, whales, and this and that. <laughs> I ain't had, I ain't named not a whale, not a dog, no nothing. All he said is, let there be according to their kind. My God, I'm telling you, it's stuff. So much stuff happened, and and those few little things, I I I, I really can't think about it like I want to because it hurt my head. <laughs> but I'm telling you, <laughs> where, uh, man, where you see the angels being made at right here? <laughs> where when you think about an angel, what you think about? Man, don't, ain't they like a when people think about it, they got wings, don't they? <laughs> like where, <laughs> like when you see when you picture something like wings, right? They fly like a bird-like type creature. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I lose it, man. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, you, man, I lose. I, I, it's, hard, it's hard to explain that to y'all like I want to. You gotta be sitting down with me. You gotta be sitting down with me. <laughs> but anyway, Isaiah's commission. I don't want to lose this. I, I don't want to lose where I'm at. Isaiah's commission. <laughs> Where I, oh, I went there because of the seraphim. Yeah, those bird-like creatures. They some holy bird type. You got the seraphim, and you got the the cherubim. And them the only two that I, that we know about so far. They some holy bird type creatures. We gonna see them with some. They they, they gonna pop up in the future. Like the people see them. If we around and get to see that day, like they gonna freak people out. <laughs> right. But anyway, uh, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high in his altar. That's what Isaiah said. In the year that King Uzziah died, uh, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on the throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were Sheaphrim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces. With two wings they covered their feet. And with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another. They could speak, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, at the sound of their voices, at the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with, with smoke. Woe to me, I cried. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah seeing this. Woe to me, I cried. I'm ruined, for I'm, a, for I'm a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen a king, the Lord Almighty. <laughs> then one of the seer friends flew over to me, flew, flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. With it, with it, he... With it, he touched my mouth and said, See, 
this is this is touch your lips. Your guilt is taken the your guilt is taken away. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Then I heard a voice. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, "Whom shall I send, and who will go for us?" This is why I went here, and I said, "Here I am. Send me." He said, "Go and tell these people." I'm, I, I keep on reading. Go and tell these people. Uh, be ever hearing, but never understand. Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of these people callous. Make their ears dull. Make their ears dull and their eyes and close their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. Then I said, But how long, Lord? He answered, Until the city lies ruined and without inhabitant, until the houses are left deserted and the fields ruined and, ra and ravaged, until the Lord has sent everyone far away and the land is utterly forsaken. And though a tenth remains in the land, it will again be laid waste, but as a terebinth and oak leaves stump when they are cut down, so the holy seed, so the holy seed will be the will be the stump in the land. I like that. Uh, but yeah, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. He said, "Ask the Lord uh, to send out workers." The Lord appeared to Isaiah. He said, "Who who shall I send?" Isaiah said, "Here I am. Send me." <laughs> Isaiah said, "I go." All right. Let me keep reading while I go there. All right. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. All right. Matthew chapter 10. Jesus, send out, Jesus sends out the 12. I thought it was saying. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Uh, say, Jesus calls his 12 disciples. Uh, Y'all bear with me. Bear with me. God bless you, man. Jesus called. Jesus sends out the twelve. Tyler said, Matthew chapter ten, verse one. Say, uh, Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to, to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip. And Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, uh, James, son of Alphaeus, and the dad and the the daddyus, uh, Simon, Simon the Zealot, Simon the Zealot, uh, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions: Do not go among the Gentiles or into any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Amen. Do not get any gold or silver or copper uh, to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff. For the worker is worth his weight. For, for the worker is worth his keep. Amen. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, if the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to it. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave their home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as and as innocent as doves. I like that. <laughs> Jesus said, "Be as shrewd, be as sharp as snakes and as innocent as doves." Word up. You can't get. I, I, I love creation. I, I always say that. I, I like it and how the Lord used things and designs. I know I ain't a big snake person or whatever. <laughs> Word, but <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna see me playing with no snakes. I, you heard what I just said. You ain't gonna see me playing with no snakes. Who's gonna be playing with snakes? <laughs> I like I like the way I like the way he designed them things. Like word, because you ain't them things is sharp. <laughs> word up. <laughs> Try to get close to one if you want to. You must be a fool. <laughs> word. <laughs> word. Unless you like that uh what's that dude? The crocodile, honey. He don't do that for no I can I I love I used to like watching that dude. Man, rest in peace to that guy, man. I miss that dude. That dude, he an interesting dude. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> uh that's a wild dude. But uh 
That's the only dude I know who <laughs> she playing with snakes or whatever. But besides that, you ain't gonna be messing around with no snakes. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, well, you you crazy? Like, I, I like that. I like that about them. Like, where <laughs> you they they won't let you get close to them. Like, where the Lord Jesus said, be as shrewd as snakes. Be just be just like that because you can't. <laughs> you got to be on point out here. And he speak better than I do. And he said, be sharp as snakes, but be gentle as dove. You know what I mean? <laughs> where. I wouldn't come around trying to play with them. Same time, I'm humble and nice and gentle, man. Y'all can sit down and have a conversation with me. A cup of coffee or something before I eat. Ain't nothing wrong. You know what I mean? You can be civil. <laughs> you can be civil. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. I ain't playing no games, though. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lord Jesus said, uh, be, therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard. <laughs> I love that. That's sir. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in the synagogues. On account, on my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. Amen. At that time, you will be given what to say, for it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Amen. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by everyone because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Amen. When you are prosecuted in one place, flee to another. Truly, I tell you, you will not you will not finish going through the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The student is not above the teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough. It is enough for students to be like their teachers and servants like their masters. If the head of the house has been called Bezabal, how much more the members of his household? Bezabal was a like an evil, bad type person. And check this out. And wherever you go to, you'll notice. I, I like what Mr. Miyagi said to Daniel when when they, when, they, when they, them kids was messing with him. He said, "Ain't no such thing as a bad as a bad student." But bad teacher, <laughs> where that, that's what Jesus is saying right here. He said, if the head of the household has been called Bezabo, how much more the members of his household? It's not if you if you notice around whoever the, the little group is of people, whatever the group is of people. If you notice around, look at who the head is. <laughs> I bet you if the head of the household crazy and and, and th that's why the people like that. You see what I'm saying? If, but if, if if the head of the household has been called Bezabo, whoever the head of the household is, if they crazy, deluded, and they 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 demented a little bit, you know what I mean? The how much more were the members of his own household? They gonna be the same exact way. You see, you, uh, <laughs> same thing. People blame the children or whatever. Look at the parents. If the head of the household is crazy, nine times out of ten, the children are gonna be crazy. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. If the head of the house has been called Bezalel, how much more the members of his household? Word up. <laughs> So do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known to you. I love that. I I, I love that. I'm going to write this down because I already got it, bro. I'm going to write it down again anyway. All right. Just because. I love it. <laughs> you know. I love it. I love for people. For people think they can fool God, anything, or God's people. Even even if I was to get tricked up with something right now, <laughs> the Lord will let me know each and every single thing. Like He'll let me see certain certain little insights. I don't know everything. I ain't no psychic. I ain't no fortune teller. <laughs> right, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying. But He will give you insight to what's going on. <laughs> Word up. Right, you can't you can't you can't fool God, man, or His people. I'm just saying. Where right, He it will give you insight. Like where well, even when when stuff start happening, might not, I don't understand why certain stuff happened, but it will give you insight to what's going on. <laughs> like where, like all right, but all right, <laughs> I like that. So do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed. It ain't a trap that someone could set for me, <laughs> a hole someone could dig for me that God ain't gonna show me <laughs> that he ain't, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna make sure I get over. <laughs> like where, and if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. He'll let me know that too, plain and clear as day. <laughs> all right. All right. We good. Uh, so do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roots. Do not be afraid of those who, who, who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. <laughs> Rather, be afraid of the one, capital, capital O, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. <laughs> yeah. 
Are not two sparrows? Who you talking about? Our father? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are not two sparrows sold for one penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. Amen. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. <laughs> so do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before others, I will disown I will disown before my father in heaven. Let me tell you something. I like this. Jesus Jesus know Jesus truly know who and when he say disown, he mean disown from your heart. I believe Peter denied Jesus three times in front of others. Did he not? He said before the rooster crow Tomorrow, man, you're going to deny me three times. <laughs> the Lord knows what's going to happen. He told him what's going to happen. But Peter Peter denied him in front of man, but he never denied Jesus in his heart. He never denied him in his heart. You see what I'm saying? You could be out here for, for anyone who out here who, who served the Lord and they feel like they let the Lord down or somewhere. You, you might have, if they feel like you, you denied him or something, he know your heart. <laughs> he know you're going to mess up or something. Where is this people talking about? He talking about utterly reject them to never come to him. Like where Peter denied the Lord Jesus three times, and the Lord Jesus looked right at him at the end. Peter went out. He already knew. He already knew. Where I believe Lord Jesus went back and reinstated Peter. Then he gonna come back and reinstate you too, if you belong to him. Truly, we all fall short of the glory of God. Amen. Romans chapter three. Ain't nobody perfect. Nobody perfect. Brother Dave was a man of the God's own heart. If Satan can rise up and, and get him to fall down, best believe he can rise up and knock you off your horse too. I told that lady up in the store the other day. It was, it was like last year or something. Ain't no other day. Was, everything seemed like the other day to me. Or she told him to be on point or something. I said, lady, I already know I'm going to fall down. But I know it's going to lift me back up. You know, I ain't afraid of it. I said that many times. <laughs> you must not know about my life. I was always been about getting up. <laughs> or falling down. You know, I'm scared to fall around here. Or, you get back up and go through. But uh, all fall short. Uh, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. You see what I'm saying? Romans chapter 3, verse 21. Say, but now apart from the law, but now apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. Amen. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ. To all who believe, there is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all and all are just and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Amen. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of through the shedding of his blood to be to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time. So just to be so as just so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Amen. All right. Let me pick up where I left off and why I go there. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But whoever disowns me before I, was, I would disown before, before my father in heaven. Do not suppose... Do not suppose that I come to bring peace to earth, to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Amen. It's, it's, Jesus is peace found in him. He said peace to the earth. <laughs> why the earth? Because the earth is under Satan's possession. <laughs> you guys, why you, you just just look up to who older than you and see what they got going on. The parents or somebody. I bet they, that's why you think the children's parents ain't getting along. Because the parents doing their own thing. You think that they're not serving the Lord, they're doing their own thing. That thing you know, you got the kids doing their own thing. Well, <laughs> one trying to get away from another. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> If they don't, if they, have, if they don't get away from each other. They damn, they dang, they dang sure gonna be together, just sitting in the pot, <laughs> sitting in some BS, like word, or doing the same thing, like word. <laughs> sitting on TV, you got the, you got the people on TV, I'm like, man, I don't even wanna talk about them people on TV. I'm just saying, they train their little kids to be on TV, <laughs> like they be starting little dudes off young, like, like word, but they be setting them kids up for failure. Them people wild for real, for real. the Hollywood stuff. But uh, if the Lord don't come get involved with it, you gonna <laughs> you'll see the world in real, real bad shape. <laughs> word, if, 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 if I'm telling you, where you if people crazy now. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, do not suppose, Lord Jesus said that I've come to bring peace on earth. 
I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. It's going to be peaceful one day when he come. He's going to show up and wipe everything and wipe a whole lot of stuff out. <laughs> it's going to be peaceful then. <laughs> Word. Uh, for I have not come to turn. Uh, uh, for I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. <laughs> Because you're going to have people serving the Lord and people who ain't serving the Lord. One ain't going to like the other. People going to come up against each other. One, a man against his father. <laughs> Word. One following the Lord, one ain't. A daughter against her mother. One following the Lord, one ain't. A daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. One following the Lord, one ain't. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. You're making an idol out of it. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You're making an idol out of it. Whoever, do, whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it. <laughs> Amen. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Anyone, anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And, whoever, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly will certainly will certainly not lose their reward. Jesus and John the Baptist, uh, Matthew chapter eleven. Jesus and John the Baptist for the title saying. Matthew chapter 11, verse 1. Say, after Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee. When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent to his he sent to his disciples to ask him, Are you the one? Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? John in prison right now. John in prison. <laughs> John baptized Jesus. <laughs> he hearing he hearing about the things Jesus is doing. He, John got a little bit of doubt right now. A little bit of, he got a little bit of doubt right now. Got a little bit of doubt. <laughs> he in prison, man. <laughs> Word. When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, when John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent his, he sent his disciples to ask him, "Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else?" Jesus replied, "Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, and those who have leprosy, and those who have leprosy are cleansed." The deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. Amen. As John's disciples <clears throat> were leaving, Jesus began. <laughs> as John's as John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, he said, what what did you see when you go out into the wilderness? What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No. Those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you. And more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare to, who, who will prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. <laughs> From the days of John the Baptist until now, the, king, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and violent people have been raiding it. For all the prophets in the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who was to come. Whoever has ears, let them hear. To what can I compare this generation? They are like 
They are like children sitting in the market, the marketplaces and calling out to others. <laughs> we played the pipe for you and you did not dance. We sang a, we sang a, a dirge and you did not mourn. <laughs> For John, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say he is a glutton and a drunkard, a, fin a friend of tax collectors and sinners. <laughs> but wisdom is proved right by her deeds. <laughs> John the Baptist came neither eating nor drinking. They said they said John was a demon possessed. <laughs> the son of man, Jesus Christ, came eating and drinking, and they say he's a glutton and a drunk, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. <laughs> But wisdom is proved right by her deeds. Amen. Woe on unrepentant towns. What the title say? Woe on unrepentant, on unrepentant, unrepentant towns. <laughs> then Jesus began to denounce the towns. <clears throat> then Jesus began to denounce the towns in which he, in which most of his miracles had been performed. Because they did not repent. Mm. Woe to you, uh, Chorazan. Woe to you, Bashib, Beth, Beside. For if the miracles that were performed to you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it'll be more bearable for for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you and you, Capernaum. Will you be lifted to the heavens? No, you will go down to Hades. For if the miracles that were performed to you who had been performed in Sodom, it would have it have it would have remained to this day. But I tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Father revealed in the Son. At that time, what the title saying? At that time, Jesus said, "I praise you, Father." Lord of heaven and earth, because you because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All these have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take up, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Amen. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I love that. I love that. I love that. Serving the Lord ain't too hard. It ain't a cakewalk. It ain't a cakewalk. I'm just saying. It ain't a cake. It ain't a cakewalk. Living in this world, sin, Satan, and the world always against you. No, Jesus went to the cross. You know, we got death to face and everything. Say we deny ourselves daily. We deny ourselves daily. Like, hmm. Say, for your sake, we face death all day long. Hmm. Go through things. But, uh, hmm. uh, stuff start happening, man. <laughs> stuff start happening when you, when you in tune with the Lord and like the world and stuff. The world they really don't 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 really like us. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, besides that, whatever the Lord asks you to do in serving Him is easy. His burden light. Uh, it's not hard serving the Lord. <laughs> he don't He don't put a whole lot on us. He gentle and humble heart, and you will find rest for your souls. His yoke is easy. <laughs> whatever you think you're doing now, <laughs> it's driving you crazy. Serve you can serve the Lord is is way easier. Like where if you lose your life, as he said, whichever one, whichever one of y'all think, whoever whoever finds their life will lose. You gonna find your life one way or another. What you what you find your life in? You can find your life in a rap career. You can find your life in hustling. You can find your life in dancing. You can find your life in whatever you find your life. In. I don't know. I'm like where I don't know what you find your life in. What you fame, fortune, whatever. But you're going to lose your life one way or another. Where are you going to lose it? Whoever and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. You don't truly have life until you to, I'm telling you, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't really have life until you, to you, where you say whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Whoever finds life will lose. Where you're going to lose your life one way or another. Like, but whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. 
you really find your life in the Lord. That's where your life really, really that's where you really start living at. Like, where? You ain't really living until you start living for the Lord. What that look like? <laughs> People, <laughs> church person, this and that. Jesus, Jesus ain't born. <laughs> They, he used to get invited to the parties and stuff. He turned it to work. Jesus ain't born. Like, I don't know about a lot of these the church people would have. Word. They don't, they, don't, they don't know how to have a good time. I know how to have a good time. Word. I know how to chill. I don't know what they y'all talking about. I ain't got to be out here with that. I'm like, word. I ain't got to get super crazy. But anyway, Jesus know how to chill, too. He turned up water to wine. He said it was the best. All right? He wasn't just out here being a drunk or whatever. But he know how to chill. Word. <laughs> anyway, let me get let me keep going if I get carried away. Why I go there? Oh yeah, serving the Lord ain't hard job, man. His yoke easy and his burden light. <laughs> and, man, I, I love just thinking about it. Right. I'm gonna come back and explain. Right. Uh, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. What the title says. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Matthew chapter 12. At that time, Jesus went through the, through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read what David did when he, is, when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God. And he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read? Or haven't you read in the law that the priests on the Sabbath duty and the temple desecrate the Sabbath, and yet they are innocent? <laughs> I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would have not condemned the innocent. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Amen. Going on from that place, he went to their synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Looking for a reason to bring charges against Jesus, they asked him, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? He said to them, If any of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will you not take hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a person than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the, on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. <laughs> And he said to the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out, and it was completely restored, just as sound as the other. But the Pharisees went out and plotted how they might kill Jesus. <laughs> God shows and serve, what the title said. Aware of this, Jesus with Jesus with, Jesus with, aware of this, Jesus withdrew from that place. A large crowd followed him, and he held and he healed all who were ill. He warned them not to tell others about him. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Here's my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love and whom I delight. I, I put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not quarrel or, or crowd, nor uh, he will not quarrel or crowd. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. Till he has brought justice through, till he has brought justice through to victory, in his in his name the nations will put their hope. Amen. I like that. A bruised reed he will not break. Something that's already a bruised reed. A bruised reed is something. A reed is like a uh, like a, a reed, one of them branches, or something like like bush is, is bruised <laughs> he said he ain't gonna break one of y'all out here bruised one <laughs> i love it one of y'all here broken down feel like y'all bruised and banged up Pe people will break you down you know they'll stump on you tear you down to pieces and stump all over you <laughs> jesus ain't gonna he said if you already broken he ain't gonna break you down no more than what you is man you can come to him <laughs> he's gonna break you down be gentle and humble my heart <laughs> people think i'm telling you A smoldering wick, he will not snuff out. A little flame, you ever got a candle? That's what a smoldering wick is. One, a, a, just a little bit of fire that's barely lit. <laughs> you just got a little bit of fire right there. You ain't got a whole lot. Just a little, you can, people think <laughs> it don't even look like you got a light inside of him. You just got a little bit of light. <laughs> All right, he said, the Lord ain't going to put it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Till he has brought justice through to victory. In his name, Lord Jesus. 
In his name, the nations will put their hope. Amen. Jesus and Bezabog. What the title say? <clears throat> then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and, and mute. And Jesus healed him so that, the, so that he could both talk and see. All the people uh, were astonished and said, Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is only by Bezabog. The prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. <laughs> Jesus knew their thoughts and said to himself, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. <laughs> Word. If Satan drives out Satan, he, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? <laughs> Word. And if I drive out demons by Bezabul, by whom do your people by whom do your people drive them out? <laughs> so then they so then they will be your judge. They will be your judges. But if it is but if it is by the Spirit of God, Amen, that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Amen. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can plunder his house. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with, and whoever does not gather with me is scatters. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks the word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit, anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brought a vipers. How can you, who are evil, say anything good? <laughs> you brought a vipers. How can you, how can you, who are evil, say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that everyone will have to give a will give account on their judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Amen. For by your words, you will be acquitted. And by your words, you will be condemned. Word up. The sign of Jonah. With the title saying. Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing now. People want to see Jesus do a magic trick. <laughs> Where do they believe? <laughs> so, word, people crazy. <laughs> they they need a magic trick or a sign. Make a sign pop up or something. Sign and scatter or something pop up. <laughs> people crazy. <laughs> all right. I think dude the magician or something. Well, he he the ultimate magician. I'm just saying he ain't, he ain't here for no fun games of fashion. <laughs> when you see a sign from the Lord, it might be your last sign. <laughs> but, uh, Y'all forgive me. Bear with me. One second. <laughs> I started thinking about something. All right. The sign of Jonah. Then some, then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. He answered, Jesus answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the son of man will be three days and three nights in the heart of earth. Then then of in the heart of earth. Well, I'm guessing it is down here somewhere. But yeah, I'm guessing. I ain't hundred percent sure. But I'm guessing hell it is yeah, hell it is somewhere down this jump. Right. And then where right. anyway, uh, Yeah. Alright, uh For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of earth. The man of Nineveh went the man of Nineveh 
the men of Nineveh will stand up at the at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the for she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now something greater than Solomon is here. Will uh, when it when an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it when it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. This is how it will be with the wicked generation. With the wicked generation. Hmm. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it, when it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put, put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go and and they go and live, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. That that is how it will be with this wicked generation. Hmm. Jesus, mothers and brothers, with the title saying. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mothers and brothers stood outside. One speak to them. These is real. This is real mother. And his real physical brothers. Where someone told him, Your mother and brothers are outside. Your mothers and brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. <laughs> Jesus replied to him, Who is my mother? And who are my brothers? Point to his disciples. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> point to his disciples. And <laughs> he pointed he pointed to them to a dude who was following him. <laughs> Jesus' mothers and his real mother and brothers was standing outside trying to get to Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus was talking. He was talking to the crowd. I think he was in the middle of teaching or preaching. He was doing something. But I love this though. I love it. Jesus pointed to his disciples and said, Here are my mothers and my brothers. Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. I love that. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my is my brother and sister and mother. <laughs> Word up. I love that. I love that. Jesus loved his real mom and brothers. Like where? He, he loved his real mom and brothers. He wasn't trying to be rude or funny towards them. But he was with his... But his disciples, man, was, was with him. You know? They was anyone who do the will of my father in heaven. They was really following the Lord. They 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 give it to me the right way. Anyone anyone who following the Lord truly, like where who putting their faith in the Lord, like that's that's what the Lord's saying. Like they they, they more they, they more it's more important. It's, it's more important than your actual physical like and your actual physical mother and, and, and brothers and sisters. Like where? That's what statement he was saying. Jesus was talking. He was talking to some people, and his mothers and brothers stood outside, wanting to talk to him. He he wasn't trying to be rude to them, but he he in the middle of something, and they out. You know how it is. You're doing something. They got them, them phone calls. And they hitting you up. They trying to talk to you. This and that. I'm in the middle of something. He said, "My my yo, somebody somebody came to him and said, your mom and brothers want to talk to you.'" Jesus said, "Who is my mothers and my brothers? Who who is my mother and my brother?" And he pointed to his, his disciples. These these twelve dudes that's with me twenty four seven, who follow them behind me, doing every, each and every single thing I'm saying. These my this my mother, my brother, and my sisters. They they the ones who with me truly. They just want something from me for the moment. You see what I'm saying? I love them to death. God bless them. You know, God bless y'all. Ain't trying to be rude to y'all, whatever. I'm just saying. Know what I mean, Jesus, he nailed it on the head. <laughs> Jesus was talking to the crowd, his, and his mother and his brother stood outside, want to speak to him. Someone told him, "Your mother and brothers outside, want to speak to you." And Jesus replied, "Who is my mother? And who is my brothers?" Point to his disciples. He said, "These are my mother, my brothers, and my sisters." Amen. Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. What is the will of my Father in heaven? John chapter six, verse forty. John chapter six, verse forty, say. 
For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Everyone who looks to the Son, God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, Jesus Christ. Man, that's, 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 that's our Father's will to look to him. These people is looking to the Lord. <laughs> Word up. These, his, his mother and brothers were looking to him for something else. <laughs> These, they was really looking to the Lord. I'm going to stop there, wherever I'm at. I forgot where I left off. But... Uh, all right. God bless y'all, man. I done went over five minutes. God bless y'all. <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed the rest of y'all day, man. Uh, I don't care away with that. I yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the rest of y'all day and take y'all time. Keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit, he's going to give it to you. Take God at his word. That's how it's going to come. Matter of fact, I'm going to do this for, I, I already went over five minutes. One more minute ain't going to hurt. John chapter 14. If you got your Bibles rocking with me. <clears throat> John chapter 14. I could y'all get y'all a Bible. Get y'all a Bible and read uh, what the title. John chapter 14, verse 15. But the title say, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit for the, for the New International Version. I don't know what Bible, what Bible you're reading out of. The King James Version, the, the New King James Version, the ESV, the BSB, the, uh, the, there's a whole lot of them, man. All of them good. I, I like the, the way they could. The, the, the NIV got the title right. It say, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. <laughs> like where? John chapter 14, verse 15. Jesus said, if you love me, if you love me, what you going to do? Keep my commands. And I will ask the Father. <laughs> and he will, even though you're asking yourself, he said he's going to ask himself for you too. And I will ask the Father. And he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me because I live. You also live. On that day, you will realize that I'm in the Father, and you are mine. That you on that day, you will realize that I'm in the Father, and you are in me, and I'm in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. All right. Keep on asking, you love the Lord, uh, take out his word. If you love him, keep his commands. Keep God's word. Keep asking for the Holy Spirit, man. He's going to give it to you. He, he, asking, he asking himself, too. He's going to give it to you. Keep on asking. Keep on taking God his word. word. If you love him, keep his commands. Keep his word. Um, Y'all keep on praying. Can't have daytime without nighttime. You're going to go do some things, too. It's going to be all right, though. You're going to be all right. <laughs> Don't get too frustrated. You'll be all right. All right? Keep asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit because you need that. You need them. Yeah, all right. I love y'all. Y'all keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too.